Using the web request class, we can get the content of a file located on a different computer, a computer we can access over the web using the HTTP protocol. The first step would be calling the create static method defined within the web request class. Passing over a URL address of a file, in this case we mean the index.html file, we shall get a web request object representing that file. Calling the getResponse method on our web request object, we shall get a web response object. Here we cast it cast its type into HTTP web response. Referring the status description property of the HTTP web response object we have, we shall print out to the screen the status code. The status code code we should uh, get when trying to access this resource. Calling the get response stream on the HTTP web response object, we get a stream object, an object that represents a stream of data. Here, in this line, we wrap that stream with a stream reader object. Using the stream reader object, we can read the content of that file, that file from which the data stream arrives. Calling the read to end method on the st stream reader object, we get the content of that file as a string, and then we print it out to the screen. Dealing with all of these methods, an exception might be thrown, and this is the reason for placing this code within a try and catch block. Calling the close methods in order to close the resources should be placed within the finally block, so in any case, the close will be executed. Let's see how does it work. If we scroll up, we can actually overview the entire index.html file of yahoo.com. This is the exact file our browser receives when trying to access yahoo.com. In the beginning, we can see the status code we receive when trying to access that file.